live from the monkey house as part of our hot lunch. Welcome back, me monkey knots. It's me, Jack, live from the monkey house. And on today's show, we're making some good old-fashioned animal mashups, blending two animals together into a brand new animal. Bonus points if you can think of a great name for this animal, because then we can market it. You know, we can bring it to the pet stores of North America. Let's meet our next animal masher-upper and see what they got in mind. Adding to her resume, a masher of animals. Give it up, me monkey dots, for Emily! Hi, guys. I'm back. Yes, you are, Emily. Welcome back to the monkey house. Thanks for being here. Is it okay that you're? we're calling you a masher of animals? Will that give anyone the wrong idea, do you think, Emily? I don't know. I mean, you already told people that no animals would be harmed. Okay, well, just be sure on your resume that uh, when it says uh, that on uh, today's date, February 24th of 2020, uh, that Emily mashed up animals, we'll just put a big, like, uh, a parenthetical notice underneath that said, no animals were harmed, just in case anyone got the wrong idea. Emily, what is the first animal that you will be mashing up today? A penguin. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you have a particular kind of penguin in mind? Or just a regular old penguin? Just a regular penguin. Okay. Um, of course, there are the, what, the emperor penguins, those really big ones that you find in the polar region uh, that uh, can survive through the, the middle of winter's darkest nights. Or those cute little Humboldt penguins that are much smaller or like, a, you know, they're like the size of a cat. Are you imagining like a really big jumbo penguin or a smaller one? Maybe a smaller one that, dare I say, cute and cuddly. Now uh, you, I mean, you dared, and you said it, and I'm glad you did. Okay, it's a cute and cuddly, let's just say it's a humble penguin, for, again, for our friends in the ASBCA. And why did you choose a penguin, Emily? What features do you love? Well, I like that they have their penguin bodies and their feet and slippers and beak. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. So... You've really listed off the key characteristics of that penguin. And now, Emily, it's time to mash it up with animal number two. Emily, what's behind that door? A unicorn. Wow! It's a hat trick, audience. That's three unicorn calls in a row here on Live in the Monkey House. We're always trying for that. Oh, the trifecta. Very exciting. Okay, um, and why did you choose a unicorn, Emily? Because I can probably make the penguin fly by adding wings to it. Oh, yeah, sure. Of course, penguins, famous for being flightless birds. Of course, penguins uh, have wings, but they don't really know how to use them for flying in the air. They can kind of fly around in the water. But you're saying with unicorn magic, a penguin might actually be able to use those wings to fly like in the air. They can fly around the rainbow, and they also have the horn and mane and tail. Wow. Okay, so this looks like a cool penguin that has, like, a really awesome, like, rocker haircut from the 19, like, like the 1980s. A mullet, almost. A rainbow-colored mullet with a, with a beautiful horn right there in the middle. And uh, this, this little critter is going to be able to fly whenever it wants around rainbows. And, Emily, finally, what are we going to call this mashed-up penguin unicorn? What do you think? A penguin corn. Oh, you've got me. You you had me at hello, but you sold me with the name. Audience, presenting to you the penguin corn. Emily, thank you for calling, and thank you for sharing your penguin corn with us. You're welcome. Thank you. You're what? I, you're so welcome. I would give it a hug, but it just flew away. Look at that, everyone. It's flying around a rainbow right now. Well, one more time, audience, give it up for Emily in Idaho, longtime listener, frequent caller, and masher up of animals.